morning we're going to be fitting this solar panel to this caravan. Um, now it's pretty grim, not looking great out here. Um, we're going to fit this solar panel. Luckily, we've had the caravan in the workshop, so the roof is nice and dry. Uh, we're still going to have to heat it up because it's very, very cold. I'll just run through everything that we've got in the box, uh, the actual solar panel, what we're going to do, and then show you what's actually fitting it. So, in the, in the box, and again, it depends how you buy the solar panel, if you buy it all individually as a kit, um, but if you buy it individually, you're going to need, obviously, wiring. Um, so this is the wiring to the actual battery itself with a fuse. You're going to need a solar controller. So this is going to control from the actual solar panel um, down to the battery. And again, you're going to need to make sure that you've got the right ampage controller for the right panel that you fit in. Now, we're fitting a 150 watt solar panel so 150 divided by 12 i think is that about 12 and a half amps would that be right yeah. i'll have to calculate it in a minute and um, so this is a 20 amp controller so this will do the job basically um, and you can see there our first diagram on the bottom here is our solar panel input so that's where the leads from the actual solar panel will go into and then the leads out of the solar panel down to the battery are in that one there and then we have got the little light one on the very end so if you wanted to put some power to a light or a, a, a different charge or something like that you can come out of that end one and power either another little USB socket a 12 volt socket or a little light or something so you can run power straight off of it um, once this is set in we'll have a look um, because we'll need some power for it to obviously come up on the controller so we'll have a look at that once it's actually in place we've got all of our brackets so we've got two corner brackets two centre brackets and then two opposite corner brackets so Mark at the minute is just stripping the panel down the actual solar panel now all out of the box and he's going to fit the brackets onto here um, and then the wires from the solar panel once we've figured out exactly where it's going to go up on the roof of the caravan will then come through the little grommet so this will be fitted onto the roof and then we'll Fill one of them with sealant so that will be blanked off and then the other one the wires are going to come through. I'll just get that in the back, sorry. Um, so first things, once we've checked all of our equipment, is making sure and figuring out on the actual caravan where everything's going to go. So let's just have a look inside the van. Um, and we've already planned out, as you can see, uh, we've took the little panel off here. So our plan is to come through the roof in this location so we can run our cables through here. The solar panel cables will then come through the side of this and into that controller, the little controller box that we saw. And then the cables will then come back through here, down this trunking, down here and then into our battery box and connect straight onto our battery and that is basically it that's as simple uh, and as easy um, as it is it's they're really really simple to actually fit um, so what we're going to do is i've showed you all the bits and bobs and how to work out the basics of the solar panel so what we're going to do now is actually fit it so we're going to have a look up on the roof i already know sort of if you can imagine up on the roof our roof light is here, our front roof light is there, so we've got a nice big area here for the solar panel. Um, so I can already picture exactly where it's going to go. Uh, we might run it that way, we might run it lengthways. And again, we'll just see exactly how it's going to fit the best when it's up there. And that's why Mark now is just fitting those feet. So Mark's just going to fit all of these feet onto the panel. 
with the fittings and the screws provided uh, and then what we'll do is we'll take this up onto the roof figure out exactly where we want it we'll mark around all of the feet and then we'll clean up that roof and um, dry it all off make sure it's all nice and warm get the heat gun on there and then we can fix the actual panel down onto the roof itself so i think i've decided that i'm going to fit it this way um, to fit it sort of across the caravan i'd have to bring it over this way so i've actually then probably got more resistance against the uh, the wind and it just looks better there to be fair i think so that's pretty much where we're going to fit the panel now i did have a pencil a minute ago and i've, I've lost it um, but what i'll then do is use a pencil to mark out where all the brackets are i can roughly gauge where we've put them on the on the panel down there and i'm just then going to clean that area of roof up and probably use a an alcohol to uh, clean it all up we'll get it all nice and dry then so we'll use the heat gun because it's quite cold outside and then we can stick the panel in we're going to drill the hole uh, roughly i can't think inside now where where it is it's, it's probably about there and um, so i'm going to probably drill the hole first and then that will sort of define exactly how much gap i need with the panel so that's going to be looking something like that i'd have thought so we're just going to bring the panel out and give it a quick double check so we're just going to test on the voltage uh, it's a 20 watt or oh, 20 volt panel so we've got 20 volts or 19.5 coming out of it so uh, that's spot on so again just before you fit the panel just double double check the the voltage just so that you know that the panel is all doing what it should be doing So we'll pre-drill the brackets, drill the pilot hole um, and then our little screws just literally just go straight through in through the bracket and that'll hold the bracket to the actual solar panel. So we'll pre-drill and then pop our screw through as i say we've already pre-drilled the bracket with a slightly bigger drill bit first and then we pop our pilot hole through and then just screw your bracket through so this is our little pilot hole coming through now and then it'll put the bigger hole through for the cables and this is where we're going to run both cables then through we like to drill inside if we can to out um because you're guaranteed then so if you need to miss a major or anything like that um, trying to just go nice and slow with a decent drill bit and that should do the job that is where the cable gland and cover will end up then going and the two cables running through into the caravan Whew, i'm knackered uh, so We've got our hole drilled through. I've ended up cleaning. Got some flashing off our LED lights, sorry, but we ended up cleaning everywhere where the solar panel's gonna be. So that even underneath it, when it goes from us, it'll be nice and clean, which we wouldn't normally do, but for the sake of the video, I thought I'd do it. Um, so we're gonna pop the actual panel up now. Just mark out the exact edges. We'll go back over exactly where the brackets are gonna fit give those another real good clean up, a good heating and then we'll whack a load of the Sikaflex 221 um, and get the panel actually on we might, it's not the heaviest of panels in the world is it so we no. might just put a little bit of weight on the brackets um, just to hold it down and probably leave that for 24 hours to, to cure absolutely 100% exactly the same as when we put the cable gland cover on and um, we'll just put some bit of weight on top of that just to hold it in so i'll pop the camera on to like a time lapse now and then you can see what's happening
we're now back inside so the cables are coming through the roof and you can actually see there's a little bit of sealant I absolutely pummeled the sealant in uh, so I put the nozzle of the sealant gun into the hole splodged that all through so that if ever that top seal was to break down it shouldn't ever be able to come through so we've left a coil in these cables because two of them from the panel so we're going to drill four holes into this side panel uh, two will come then into our little solar controller into our first two that's got the solar panel image on so into that one so you've got your positive and your negative and then your positive and your negative then of the other cables that we've run in the conduit down and into the battery box or two by the battery box are going to go onto our battery so that will then carry the power down we're then going to put an inline fuse on the positive so what we're probably going to do is just put two connectors break the line going to our battery put two connectors on and put this little inline fuse in this area here and we'll probably just glue that to the back of the the battery box itself and then run the other cables and connect them onto the battery and that is basically it dead dead easy something that you can do yourself so uh, what i'll do is we'll get the rest of that installed in and then i'll do a little video just to show you how it all looks so that is the panel done and fitted just trying to make sure that you've pressed down on all the edges um, make sure all the sealant is squidging out uh, as it was sort of on there i've put my weight on it and moved the panel forwards backwards and side to side just so that you know that all of the sealant is squidged squidged in as best as possible uh, i've dropped an old tow ball onto the electrics we i've ended up going in um both of the fittings there and then what we'll do is we'll we'll put sealant around the actual glands as well just to seal those in afterwards and then we'll probably just split the wires just make them a bit neater and we'll probably just seal over the the wires here just to hold them in place as well but that will just be some of the finishing bits that we do which we probably won't actually put onto the video to be fair so we'll move inside and have a look how that's looking next and that then is the charge controller fitted so you can see the four wires coming out of that that then goes down to the battery box and we're all done hopefully you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one